Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Very exciting one today because this is probably the best thing that I've seen happen to Marvel Snap in a very long time, if not ever. Conquest mode, finally here. Very exciting stuff. It is going to be the new game mode to Marvel Snap and I really, really like this game mode because it is much more competitive than normal game modes. It is quite a lot of fun. It is quite thrilling. It is quite addictive actually and you get some pretty cool rewards for playing it. So it is going to give you guys a lot of benefits and it is also going to require you to play a little bit different than the East. You're going to have to be more mindful of how you play because this game mode is going to be um, giving you a little bit of a different format. Obviously, in normal Marvel Snap games, you play just one game, you win, you lose, you go next, whatever. This one you're playing with 10 cubes. So for those who don't know how it works, it's going to basically work on the same principle that friendly battles work with, but it's going to work with a more um, structured format. So first of all, how does it all work? So you go down to game mode, you go to conquest, and you're introduced with the screen. Proving Grounds. So Proving Grounds is the first tier. So basically in Proving Grounds, you will play against your opponent, you will have 10 cubes, they will have 10 cubes. If you snap, you, the same mechanics apply, you double the cubes, if they snap back or they retreat, they, you, they gain cube, or they, they, they might lose cubes or they whatnot. But the first person to hit zero cubes is going to be out. So, um, if you win, you will get some medals and you will also get a ticket, a silver ticket. And you can use a silver ticket to get to the next division. Now, then there's silver division. So in silver conquest, you now have to win two games in a row. And then if you win two games in a row, you'll get some more medals as you um, win games. And you will get a gold ticket. When you get a gold ticket, you can then go to gold conquest. You will have to win three games in a row here. If you win three games in a row in gold, you will get an infinite ticket. Now, infinite ticket works a bit differently. Once the infinity conquest, it's, it's locked until the last week of the season. In the last week of the season, you go here, five wins in a row, and you will get to choose any avatar that you have. You can give it this cool little infinite um, border, and you'll also get a ton of medals. And um, you can use these medals in the token or the metal shop, rather. Metal shop is very, very cool. You get an exclusive card. If you buy six out of or nine out of things in the shop, you get this card rate, which you can only obtain in conquest mode. So it's a very unique card or exclusive card. And you can obviously buy things like credits. You can buy, you can also buy gold tickets with either um, medals. You can only do it once. Each of these these purchases are only available once. So you can buy a, some credits. You can buy a gold ticket once. You can buy these boosters. You can buy infinity ticket once with 350 medals. There's avatar titles. You can buy boosters as well. They are random boosts. I wish there were targeted boosters or way to get targeted boosters, but it's a pretty good conversion rate. And also at the end of the season, any unutilized medals that you have, you can convert into or the game will automatically convert into um, boosters so it's a great way to farm boosters also it's very important to note during the games when you play conquest mode because when you play game of conquest mode you can potentially play five to ten games potentially well actually you can play two games in theory you can play two to ten games depending on how aggressively you guys are snapping and each of those games will give you boosters for your, for your cards. So you can actually farm a lot of boosters and XP playing Conquest mode. For that reason, I honestly think once you get to infinite, I think at this point, you get to infinite on ladder. I see no reason not to play Conquest. Once you get to infinite, there's no point of playing infinite. Just play Conquest. Conquest is a great game. It'll teach you how to snap. It'll teach you how to retreat. It'll teach you so much about the game and it'll make you a better player because you'll have to be more careful. You have to be much more mindful about how you snap and retreat. And this is a great game mode to learn. It's a great game mode to earn rewards. It's just a great game mode overall. And I would highly recommend that you guys give this a go. Um, again, I'm not saying don't ever play normal ladder again. Get to infinite every season if you can. And once you're done with that, play conquest mode. All you should do is play conquest mode of that. This is the best game mode to play. It gives you the most rewards. It gives you the most experience. It gives you the most learning ability. And it's just a lot of fun. Highly recommend this game mode. Some tips and tricks for, for conquest. Play the deck you see above me. High evolutionary lockjaw. Very strong deck. Very difficult to beat. This is the deck that is going to be the most hard to counter. I think this deck is going to um, be the best deck to play in conquest mode. If you don't have a high evolutionary, you can substitute high evolutionary for something like maybe a big card, like, I don't know, Giganto or whatever. Otherwise, this is a great deck to play in conquest mode. But typically in conquest mode, you want to be aggressively snapping and aggressively retreating. What I mean by that is when you have an advantage, you should snap. Put pressure on your opponent. It is important to understand and snap 
that you should never win 100% of the games you snap. If you are winning every game you're snapping, it means you're not snapping enough. You should be losing 20 to 30% of the games you're snapping because that means you're snapping aggressively enough that you're putting pressure on your opponents often, but you're not being too passive that you're only snapping when it's guaranteed that you win. You should still lose games you snap. It actually is, a, I know it sounds counterintuitive, but that is important. So in conquest mode, be aggressive. Don't be overly aggressive, but when you have an advantage, when you draw your combo pieces and things look like they're going away, try snap early. And also if you don't have your combo pieces and you things don't you don't feel comfortable in your opponent snaps, don't be afraid to retreat. It's all about knowing how to retreat and when to snap. That is what's going to make you successful in conquest mode. Without further ado though, I'm going to give you guys a bit of gameplay from conquest mode and show you guys one of the runs we had today where I believe we did get an infinite ticket. So that was pretty cool. Um, obviously, I think I managed to get two today, but we'll probably give you a lot more. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are enjoying conquest mode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what decks you're playing for conquest mode if anything's working for you you're having some secret deck that's been popping off let me know and i'll see you guys again next time take care everyone and bye bye let's get some infinite tickets so we'll try we'll, well i'll figure our first infinite tickets um we will try see what decks we can try use to get other infinite tickets and try farm see what's viable what's not viable but let's let's first do it with lockjaw since this will probably be the best one for it Snapping. Snippy snapping. Alright. Uh, check. I get what, infinite ticket. One more. Showing 1-1. One, one, but some guys say it can be 2-1. I'm pretty sure it can be more than one. I think. I think. Not 100% sure though. But I think it can be more than one. Look at Dazzler Archer. Wait, what's Dazzler's Archer? I didn't see it. Okay, Mr. Pont, need to hurry up, please. Why are we being so slow? Also, it's confirmed that, start, that starting a ticket and trying to roll it over to the next season won't be allowed. Or risk your progress. I know. I'm aware. Bonk. Okay, so we get three hulks. I'll snap on that then. Three hulks, pretty good. I love how all the hulks have the effect, but they're not actually the like super hulks. Wait, no, this one doesn't. Why does this hulk not have the special effect those ones do? This deck is top tier for Conquest? I think so. It's the, it's the best deck in the game. Um, I'm pretty sure that there are other things you can use too, but yeah. Because it was scroll. Ah, right. Thanks for the Zetless. Welcome to stream as well. Oh. That's not good. That's not good. That's very, very bad. Question is, am I going to get Hemdall or not? I'm worried about those Hulks. Hmm. The excess tickets and medals we converted to boosters according to devs? Yeah, I know. I just don't know if I could talk about that, but yeah, that is indeed the case. You would be correct. So uh, we just Hulk smash left. A 
Monka is if he is a Himdal. Let's see. Uh, Galactus, I guess, what rare to have in the season pass? Gold Galactus. Unlucky. Uh oh. Am I losing 8 cubes? Oh no. Woo! That was close. Holy shit, that was close. Okay, 8 cube right at the back. Let's go. 8 cube right off the bat, chat. Great start. I like it. I like it. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Juicy. I love how there's a new... Um, chat, I also love how there's a new... That's what I'm looking for. A new featured location today, but for the first time ever, I don't care. Conquest. New featured location, do not care. Small W. Wind aid my Conquest music is a baller? Wait, there's a, there's new music? Oh shit. I need to listen to them after this. Okay. Uh, do I want to actually play Lockjaw? Lockjaw? Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I don't though. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Strange Academy. Uh, I guess we just do this. And then I guess we go for Lockjaw. So this guy's playing Bounce Move, right? Oh, he's got Sork. Wow. Question, I'm relatively new play. Quit playing and start again. I'm collecting 1,300. I'm missing so many tier 3 cars and getting tokens. How do you guys do it? Uh, you just got to play it on a consistent basis, honestly. It's a bit annoying, but just make sure you just make sure you do your dailies. Every day, do your dailies. That's the best thing you can do. If you want to, if you want to, that, that makes you climb as fast as one can climb, really. Mjolnir, to me. Other than doing your dailies every day, the only other thing you can do is actually spend money. But if you don't want to spend money, just doing your dailies every day is the fastest you can do. Okay, so we'll play the Mjolnir here. And we'll play you. And then hopefully we get vision off of the Lockjaw. To me. Bonk. Okay, I got vision. Nice. Cheapest slot points. Hulk smashy smash. <sighs> I think Soul Surfer could be good for Conquest. I'll try out all the decks I can. Today. I first want to get like one or two infinite tickets of this. And then I'll be more experimental. Wasp? Oh, I forgot what. Whoops. My bad. My bad. It's fine. Everything is perfectly and utterly completely fine, chat. This is all under control. 
Dracula might get worse. No, no, no. Dracula is a good boy. Dracula doesn't low roll. Dracula's gonna hit infinite every time. I would snap, but I can't snap. Dracula is a good, well-trained lad. Never low rolls. Okay. You see? Victory. You see, chat? What a well behaved Dracula. You beat the proving grounds. One silver ticket. Very cool. Okay, Hellfire Club. Cool. Psychology. Ooh. Snap. I'll take a snap on that. Quality of life things. It's a very minor quality of life thing. Like, I mean, I don't hate it. I just don't really see what information I actually gain from knowing. So Asgard, I don't really care much about, but at the same time, he might care about it. By taking away his Asgard, I'm trying to win here, it might block him from drawing cards. I honestly don't really care about drawing cards very much, but he might, so... Uh, maybe we should fight for it just to stop him from drawing. Okay, chat, are you ready for long animations? Are you ready for Mjolnir to me? Mjolnir to me! Mjolnir to me! Mjolnir to me! Mjolnir to me! You ready, chat? Mjolnir to me! Ooh. <laughs> oh god, Mr. <laughs> Oh jeez. Chat, I don't think my opponent's gonna be very um have a have a very fun time this game. Dude, if you have Shang-Chi, I'm gonna be mad. I'm about to be very mad if you have a Shang-Chi. Can I super snap? I wish I could super snap. This is great. This is absolutely great. All right, Mr. Opponent, more Mjolnir to you. Come on, play this out, I dare you. He plays this out, what? You just love this animation so much or what? Oh my god, man. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thanks, Paula. Inspired by green. Welcome stream. But no. What's the revolutionary? Man, this guy really wanted to watch his animation play out, didn't he? This guy really, really wants to watch this animation go through. Okay, so... <laughs> no way. <laughs> but he plays it out. Why are you playing it out? Dude, don't you remember what? Oh, wait. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because they all spawn here and then one pulls there. It's fine. Face the 
There we go. Chat, do you think he's enjoying his time? Do we think Mr. Opponent is enjoying this game? <laughs> oh god. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh no. <laughs> Oh uh, no, chat! Oh jeez. <clears throat> no! I don't want that! I want more hammers! Come on! What is this shit? Give me four hammers, dude! Ah, fine. Boop, boop, boop. Why does this animation not get sped up, by the way? I think it's time for a nap. I think it's time for a nap. Oh, see you in like half an hour, Mr. Opponent. Mm. Junior, to me. Junior, to me. What a beautiful sound. What a beautiful, beautiful sound. I don't know why this guy played these games out, by the way. Do you not know you can retreat? I don't know why he doesn't retreat. Oh my god. <clears throat> snap is unlocked. Oh, you're right. There is no, there is no uh, Marvel Snap Reddit. True. Superflow. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll start with Thor. Alright, Mr. Point, I'll put you out of your misery. I will put you out of your misery. You can play this last game and you can go. Nah, it's definitely a human. He was emoting. Chad, is this, is this a George? Is this what one refers to as a George? Is this the elusive George who bought a gold ticket? So hopefully Mojo World moves back here. Yeah, wait, where'd you get this locked up from? Oh, Agent 13, okay. Nine! I mean, I guess it's kind of bad for both of us. Just in case he has wave, I'm just going to do this. Fuck it. So I think he's probably going to slam a Hulk in the middle. So I am going to preemptively slam Hulk left. I think it's the best thing the game has done. I think so too. I think Conquest is really good. Conquest is great. Highly agree. Okay. Mjolnir to me. Well, that doesn't really do much for you, but okay. 
Thanks, follow. One mark. Welcome to the stream. Oh, that was a 10 0. All right, chat. All right, 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 all right. Chat, 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 chat. Okay, you see this game? We win this game, we get big shiny, okay? So we need to win this game to get big shiny. You think you're really gonna be snapping a nonsensical situation like that and getting me to concede? I don't think so. You can't even snap back, but okay. I guess he, I guess clicking the button makes him feel good. Okay, so we just drop... Ah, uh, actually, let's drop this. Hey! Avengers! Is this happening with Lockjaw in hand? Uh, kind of. It's a bit more to it than that. It's Lockjaw plus Wasp is definitely a snap, but yeah. Okay, so we win left lane. Ah, oh, good luck winning this game, Mr. Opponent. Good luck. To me. I mean, this is just easiest win of my life, right? Ticket chat. We got our infinity tickets. Poggers. You beat gold conquests. The big shiny. Big shiny. Poggers. 